actually mold is a particle, a minute particle caused by spores and uh, um, it doesn't need anything extra to multiply. It multiply on its own. And you find that um, based on this, you find it gave rises around plants, fungi, any other wet area, corners, you find that molds can be formed. And I needed to tell you that molds don't need much to form. Huh? So eventually you find that um, time is very essential for a mold to form, nutrients, something that it can um, feed on, and you find also that moisture. Those are the three things, nutrients, moisture, and time. These are very essential and sensitive for the production of mold. Of course, it can cause health problems and it can even um, worsen uh, existing um, situation. Uh, health problems such as um, respiratory tract infection, such as sinusitis, um, allergies, um, watery eye, itchy eyes, itchy ears, dryness in throat, you find coughing, breathing problems on its on a general form, it can even infect the digestive tract. So yes, it can cause health problems. Normally, people who are asthmatic are allergy based. So um, when you find that a person um, have asthma and it and you have molds, you find that molds exaggerate the form of um, the crisis that they may be having. So this can cause them to increase with the shortness of breath and also um, if they are chronic asthmatic you find that it can even be a life-threatening situation. Children, um, elderlies and people who already have the immune system depressed. Immune system depressed is not only people with HIV but you find people who have had cancer or have cancer or any chronic illness can be affected mostly by mold because their immune system is depressed. You have um, short-term symptoms because once you notice that there's mold around and you are allergic to it and or you find that the area where you're in is difficult breathing, you can remove yourself from that area, it's a short term. If you notice, for example, you're getting allergy, and let's say now that the hurricane has passed, there's no light, and um, you find that certain areas remain very much moist because um, they have been rain, damaged by rain. So you find these areas, if you clean immediately and keep your place dry, it will prevent um, for it to, um, the mold action to continue. But you find that if you are continually exposed, for example, people who are driving in a car that has been totally um, water damaged, the seats then can be moldy, or you're working in a, in a, um, in a building that the papers are damaged by mold and they remain there until further notice, you find it only takes 24 to 48 hours for mold to really form. And if this is being formed and you are continually exposed to it, you can get long-term um, long, um, disorders. Okay, number one, you have to go to your physician. You go to your physician, you um, speak to them about your signs and symptoms. There are people who are affected by mold every day to a smaller or a greater um, cause, right, or case. You find that this particular uh, people, once they go, they can be treated by it. But the number one treatment is identifying the area that is um, affected by mold, eliminating it. Then you can continue with the treatment such as your nose spray, anti-allergic medication, cough medication to help symptomatically re relieve yourself. People might say, yes, but I want to be tested for mold if I have mold. It is not a cheap, um, how you call it, exam. So therefore you find that um, it's not that every doctor can go ahead and say, let me do a mold examination because it's as 
less expensive like a urine test or a pregnancy test or you find uh, um, any other blood tests. So you identified, yes, you can have an allergy blood test to see the immune globulin E to see if there's any allergen and certain the RAS test that also evaluate what you can be allergic to and many times inside of that test can identify that you are allergic to mold. But again, to be specific, because they are different type of mold, is it relevant or not? May not be. Most important thing is that you can identify this by the environment that you're in, because you can see it, you can smell it, and you can feel the mold around also. Identification of the molded area. So if you have excess moisture in your house um, and once you see that for example around a um, faucet and in the kitchen some people they wash their dishes and they do not dry afterward and you find out the lining of the kitchen sink and find these black little those are mold you can find it also in the bathroom a lot of people um, their bathroom are not well ventilated so you find that um, in the crevices of the tiles you find this brownish sometimes yellowish orange color and or even black when it stays too long all those are mold so cleaning and hygiene is number one you have to eliminate everything that have been um, exposed to any excessive moisture and is um, affected by mold Number two, you can clean with an agency that is very common, which is Clorox. You can clean with Clorox, and there are a lot of other household products that kills 99% of mold or any other bacteria. You can always use that. You have to investigate or identify where the moisture is coming in, because it could be that you have a seepage somewhere. Uh, it could be that underneath your house is a seepage or there is a, it's a drain or somewhere that is having um, some leakage. You have to identify it and let it be repaired. If you find that it happens in, in school, the teachers have to um, speak to the school board and eliminate this moisture too. Because leakage from a roof, for example, that is not well placed together, only have a top holding between that area can also find molds can occur in those areas. Besides mold, we find um, the harboring of garbage around your place. You find debris, many places still have debris around their places. Those are cultivating um, areas for um, rats, for mosquitoes and flies. There's a lot of people, due to the fact that they don't have running water, they place their garbages, all type of meat, and even their waste products in sacks, and they just throw them somewhere and let it be somebody else's problem. But what is going to be the only cause of a health hazard? It's preferably that you, you um, isolate whatever um, garbage you have or waste product correctly and see to it that it is placed in an area where it can be disposed easily and readily. I find that hygiene, washing of hands, because of the lack of water in, in a lot of places, it's not that GB do not have running water, but there's a lot of broken pipes that needs to be fixed. And all of that also takes its time. So people um, use minimum water to wash hands, to wash their um, utensils, etc. So you find also water remains in a container for a long time and it becomes uh, moldy, slimy. And they still use it because you have to economize water is gold at the moment. So disposal of your garbage is in the correct way. You find it eliminates rodents, it eliminates also mosquitoes and also flies. Place things around your house that can eliminate all of these things to prevent. At dawn and dusk, we know that mosquitoes love to come out. So during that period of time, be outside as minimum as you can and if you must, then you wear long sleeve, long pants, protecting your extremities. Use also your um, repellent so that the mosquito will not cause um, any harm to you. Laundry mats, hmm, it's a good question. Well, laundry mats, a lot of them have their own um, 
water cistern um, to facilitate in their business, I think that they can use, they can use, um, let's say those, these um, chlor tablets placed in it, in the cistern to help minimize and dispose of their, their water, the washing water, in the best way possible. If it can go in a septic, better yet. Yeah? Do not let it run in the road or in the streets. That it will be easier so that their septic um, container will not be full. You know, but um, dispose of these things in the best way possible. And I find every dark area, whenever you can, you flit. You use um, one or the other um, repellent to help minimize in these um, occasions. Thank mm -hmm. you.